Hello, Larry BL here, and in this episode we're going to be talking about fusions. Okay, um, and how to use a multimeter to test the fuse. Very simple, uh, but for this to happen, we need to have a bad fuse. So uh, we'll talk about a fuse here for a minute. Now we've talked about the wiring diagram. Uh, what we have here is a transformer and we have the diode and we have an amp meter we have the fuse and we have a light bulb and a return so we have the setup here and for the transformer it is capable of supplying up to two amps we have configured the multimeter in this case the analog multimeter to read the 10 amp scale we have a diode and I looked up the specs on this particular diode and it is capable of supplying four amps we have a two amp fuse and we have a light bulb so with that said we will turn the power on and as you can see we are on the 10 amp scale so the 10 amp scale would be 0, 1, 2, or 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And if you notice, the meter is in between the 0 and 2, meaning we are pulling approximately 1 amp. Okay, so everything is within specifications. A 2 amp transformer, a 4 amp diode, a 2 amp fuse, and a light bulb pulling 1 amp. Uh, unfortunately, uh, wires on our tractors tend to fray and I have a screwdriver. Going across the light bulb, if we create a short, we should see the multimeter in amperage increase, but we have a 2 amp fuse that will protect the multimeter, which is capable of holding 10 amps, the diode, which is capable of 4 amps, and the 2 amp transformer. I only get one shot at this, so here we go. And as you can see, it didn't take long for the fuse to blow. So that is actually the purpose of a fuse. Okay, so in this state, we now ha have a known blown fuse. Next segment, we will use the multimeters to check our fuses. Okay, Larry BL again, and uh, we will be using a digital multimeter to check if a fuse is good or not. First thing we want to do on the digital multimeter is select the ohms position, or on this particular multimeter, we can go to the continuity position. We come up to our fuse and we go across the terminals, and if you hear, I've got a tone from the multimeter which tells me that is a good fuse. Okay. To check the fuse we just messed up, if you hear, we do not hear any tone or get any signal from the multimeter. So that is an open fuse. So simply take your multimeter and go to your ohms position or your continuity position and simply go across the fuse and if it's good you should get a short reading okay Larry BL again and we will test the fuse using an analog multimeter we want to set the analog multimeter to the one time scale and we take our meter probes and we go across the fuse and this is hard to do with just one hand so bear with me and as you notice I get a full swing okay so that means that fuse is good so if we go across the bad fuse if you notice there's absolutely nothing so simply take the leads and go across your fuses and when you do this you'll get a full swing in the ohm scale, that means the fuse is good. Thank you.